Okay, so today I'm gonna make pizza, and so I have the oven preheating at 425. I have my lovely ingredients pre-cut this time, and then I have this that has breadcrumbs on it for me to make the pizza on. And yeah, so today we're gonna do an Italian pizza without any spinach because I ran out and it got moldy. So. This is my pizza dough. It's in a little bag. I like working with the real thing. Oh wait, I forgot to put flour on my hands. <laughs> I'm not even rub it in. You gotta get it out. So this is gonna be the only thing time consuming. Oh, I guess not. Okay, well. Okay, so I put all this flour on the dough. <laughs> Like that. And you have to make the sound effects too. <laughs> Thanks. Those are necessary. <laughs> like Italian music. Okay, so you gotta do some cool Italian tricks that they do at pizzeria places. So I'm gonna be a professional, what's it called? Pizzeria. Pizza maker. <laughs> I'm gonna be a pizza maker. I should have drawn a mustache on my face for this one. Okay, so you're gonna just keep stretching it without like ripping it. I like my pizza thinner, but I have limited space, so that could be a problem. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep doing Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. You tried. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep stretching it, but so for the ingredients that I'm using, I sliced up sun-dried tomato. I sliced up sun-dried tomato, and I sliced up some garlic, which is right next to it. So I'm gonna be putting that, I'm gonna do a white pizza pie, not with actual pizza tomato sauce, because I don't really like tomatoes that much. <gasps> oh my god, look at Snowball in there. Jesus Christ. Should've gotten one on camera. <laughs> but okay, and then for the cheese, I'm that. doing uh, ricotta cheese, which is like a soft, thicker cheese. I'm gonna look it up. And <laughs> I'm using shredded mozzarella cheese. Normally I use fresh mozzarella, but we're in college and we're on a budget and my mom got groceries for me, so it was very nice. But okay. we're on a budget. And then I put down so that the pizza won't like, will actually be able to get off of the pan, like when I transfer it to the oven, like seasoned breadcrumbs. That way it doesn't taste like crap. So here's my pizza dough. It's not a circle. Yo, I well, can try to make it a circle. Okay, so, do you want to come around? I invite you into the kitchen. So, I am now putting, if you want to get a close up, the pizza on here. Now I gotta make sure that the breadcrumbs are all underneath the dough so that it can actually like, get off of here in a timely manner. So, I was kind of unsticking it. Oh no. So yeah. Make sure it's able to do that fully. I don't know, I'm gonna add some more breadcrumbs. That's the dog. That's my dumbass dog. Okay, so yeah, now it's able to like, slip off. Like that. You want to be able to go like that. Okay, so I'm gonna make it nice and stretched out. I am gonna get out some olive oil, salt, and pepper. So first I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil. You don't need too much because like the tomatoes are kind of sun-dried. and I mean, they're kind of oily. So I just rub that in. Okay, this will probably be a thick pizza, actually, because I didn't stretch it out that much, but whatever. And add salt to taste. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the camera on stuff while they're doing a Mexican stare down. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, so I 
have that. And oh, oh no. Okay, oh, I have to wash this now. Pepper. And just spread these things out. Ow. Normally, I put spinach on it, but I don't have that, like I said. And here's the garlic. You want to separate that out. And this is getting messy. Okay. So, yeah. And then I'm going to put the ricotta cheese on and go rinse my hands off. cheese it's kind of thick like you scoop it out oh okay it didn't go fast <laughs> oh you're bad okay and then oh that was a big scoop <laughs> whatever it's gonna separate out it gets kind of watery when you cook it so this is gonna just be kind of a watery pizza but that's okay it'll turn out great like I said last time and the time before that I promise just like Obama <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so that looks like a lot of cheese. Okay. Thanks, Obama. And then, this is mozzarella cheese. We're going to just put more cheese on top. And make sure it's still can. Oh, no. It's stuck. More breadcrumbs. Struggle. Yeah, make sure it doesn't get stuck or else you're going to have a tough time transferring it to your pizza stone which is the thing that is in the oven right now making sure that it's getting really hot so that when like the bottom crust of the pizza gets crusty so like that that's why you need the pizza stone you need the crusty no crusty crab pizza for you Okay, so I'm putting lots of cheese on. Joey, put that stone on. How did he just know? <laughs> okay, so here's all the cheese. And now I'm just going to put this in the oven. Remember, it's at 425. Preheated. Has a pizza stone in there. So I'll see you on the other side, guys. Ooh, yeah. it looks I'm sexy. <laughs> okay, so pizza is ready. So I have this. Ah, my spatula. Okay, so I'm going to take it out now. I think it's been about like, I don't know, 15 minutes? Okay, yeah, so not that long. No, but you don't <laughs> eat oil. It's gonna give you acne. And so, watch out, Murph. Make sure there are no animals when you open up the oven. Okay, <laughs> Oh my God, I need hot water. Protection. Use protection. <laughs> okay. okay. I need protection. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Whoa. Okay, I'm trying to at home. Sorry. Really scary. I just kind of ruined my pizza. But it looks real good. So... Um, yeah, so I kind of have to clean that. So I guess that's all. And I will probably cut a slice once I don't, and once it's not like fiery hot and going to burn the inside of my mouth. Because that would be bad. Okay, so yeah, that's it. And I'll just show you me eating it. But for right now, I guess that's all. You can just stop watching whatever you feel like. Okay, bye.